Hey, what's up YouTube? Down the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. Got a blower fan, an indoor blower fan here that is not blowing. It's not working at all. I'm gonna just take off this side cover here real quick. If we press on the door switch, you can see the board lights up. See if we can get the signal from the thermostat here to turn this on. There we go. So if it's just buzzing like that, nothing's happening, the fan's not spinning, we can reach inside there and just give it a little spin, just hit the blades. You can also just use a little popsicle stick if you don't want to stick your fingers in the fan. Press down this door switch and then you see here we've got the little rotation arrow right here on the blower fan. And I'm going to reach in and give this a little flick. There we go. Okay, so that, that did start this time. Okay, so you can see we got the fan going by giving it a little flick there. If spinning that will get it started, chances are your capacitor is bad because it's not giving the fan that little boost to start. We're gonna take out the capacitor. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to change that. So safety first, you can unplug the unit or you can turn it off at the breaker. In our case, we've got a unit that's plugged in right here. I'm just gonna unplug it so we know that there's no power. Don't rely on just this little safety switch here. So be safe, just either unplug or turn off the unit. The capacitor on this unit is right here. Now these capacitors don't last forever. That's something that you will have to replace periodically. This is usually gonna happen when it's really hot outside and you need the AC or really cold and you need your heat. So it's a good idea to have a spare on hand. If you smell something burning, a lot of times that's gonna be your fan motor, which is another issue, but this one looks like it's just gonna be our capacitor because I was able to spin the blades of the fan, get it going, and then this did kick on. Now the capacitor's job is to store and discharge energy, which is what gives that fan a little boost to get started. So this still may have some power you might get a shock from this so make sure you don't touch the ends over here so it looks like we just have one screw holding this little metal strap that's mounting this capacitor just take this out this is a quarter inch screw now it's okay to touch the body of the capacitor just don't touch the top of it or the ends there you might get a little shock now we'll just slide this one out Okay, so we can safely discharge the capacitor just by bridging a screwdriver across these terminals. Just make sure it's got an insulated handle and then we can pull these connectors off. It doesn't matter which one goes where, so you don't need to worry about that. If these are stuck or corroded on, you can use a flathead screwdriver to kind of pry them up like so. These ones are not stuck. I just want to show you how to do that. And now again, it doesn't matter which side goes to which side on the new capacitor, but it is important that we match the numbers here. So this is 15 microfarads or UF 370 volts. It doesn't have to necessarily be the exact same size, but make sure that the rating is the same on your replacement. Here's three that I usually carry with me. So I have a 7.5, I have a 10, and then I have a 15 right here. This is the one we're going to use. This one's going to work just fine. Here's our replacement, basically reverse of the process of taking it out. Just clip these leads on. And then we just gotta put it right back up where the old one was. And let's just put that screw back in that holds it in place. These little Malco flip bits are really handy. This is a quarter and five sixteenths. This goes a little quicker. Picked up this Klein driver as well that has all these different socket sizes, which is nice too. But now that we have it installed, let's verify and see if that will kick our blower on without us having to give it a push. So let's just plug the unit back in. And of course we do need to make sure that our thermostat is turned on or that the fan is turned on so that we can kick this on. Whether you have it in AC or heat cycle right now, I think they have it with the air conditioning set on. So let's just press on that door switch and see the little status light comes on on the board. And this should kick on here in a sec. Working great. And that's it. Lower fan is now working. Sounds great. Back up and running. Let's put the cover back on. Pretty quick and easy job. Something you can definitely do on your own and save yourself some money. Just be safe. Make sure that you are very careful and either unplug the unit or power it down or turn off the breaker and uh, make sure that you safely discharge that capacitor before touching that. You could definitely get a shock. Don't do this unless you're comfortable with it. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up some of these replacement capacitors along with some of the parts and tools used in the video as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.